All right, I just got back from a trip to Portugal in Canada. I want to talk about something that I, I saw uh, at uh, the airport. Now, I can't remember which uh, airport it was. It might have been the Ottawa airport or it might have been the, the Toronto airport. Um, but I noticed there, th th that there was a guy in his bicycle gear, like with his bicycle shorts and tights. Now, originally, I thought that this was really weird. I thought that guy was kind of weird. Um, like, what did he do? Did he bike to the airport? That's unlikely because usually the airport is pretty far from um, residential areas. So he would have had to bike like a really long time uh, to get to the airport. And even if he did, like, where would he have parked his bike? And how can you carry any luggage? Um, so I don't and. It just seemed kind of weird to me to see a guy uh, in the airport at the gate waiting to board his plane wearing full-on bicycle gear. And if he did bike to the airport, wouldn't he be like all sweaty? Which would be very unpleasant for the other passengers on that plane. Anyway, so I forgot about that and just went about the rest of my vacation. One of the things I noticed though, however, uh, when I was flying from Toronto to Portugal, that was like a, I want to say almost seven hour flight. Uh, the seat was super uncomfortable. Like, I don't know what um, Air Canada is doing, but uh, I can't believe how uncomfortable that seat was. And it's not that I can't stay seated for a long period of time, because I have done longer flights and they haven't had as much problems. In fact, when we were in Portugal, we also took a train, like a three and a half hour train ride, and I had absolutely zero issues with those seats. So it truly was those Air Canada uh, seats. They, they were really, really bad and just super uncomfortable. It was so uncomfortable that I actually started looking into uh, seat cushions. Now, back when I uh, ordered my purple mattress, I knew I, I noticed that they also sold seat cushions. So I went onto their uh, website and I looked at their offerings, and uh, yeah, in the end, I ended up uh, ordering a purple seat cushion. Um, it hasn't arrived yet. Uh, when it does, I'm sure I'm going to make a video about it. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm super, I'm kind of looking forward to that seat cushion. But the whole reason why I got that seat cushion in the first place was because uh, sitting on that Air Canada flight, um, the seat was so uncomfortable, uh, I, I, just, I was looking for some kind of solution. And now that I'm back home, I'm thinking about the guy who I saw in the airport with the bike shorts. And it dawned on me that maybe he was wearing his bike gear because... Uh, you can buy bike shorts with padded bottoms. So maybe that guy wore his bike gear, not because he biked to the airport, but he wore it because he knew that the seats would be uncomfortable and that extra bit of padding uh, might help. So anyway, uh, I have a pair of bike shorts and I'm going to give this a try. So these here uh, are the bike shorts. And as you can see uh, on the back here, uh, on the bum, you've got some padding here. And uh, so these sit right under the ischial tuberosities or the kind of the butt bones. Uh, they're the part of the pelvic bones that actually, uh, that you actually sit on. So, um, so you know, bike shorts have these paddings here uh, just on that ischial tuberosity because obviously you know, you got to move your legs. You can't have a big, uh, a bunch of padding on your butt. And also bike sh uh, seats are usually pretty narrow. So, um, so that's why uh, these uh, bike shorts, they're, they're only padded right underneath the ischial tuberosity. So anyway, uh, the, these are my bike shorts and I'm going to try wearing them. So yeah, I have a pair of bike shorts, so I'm going to try wearing them. I'm going to see if uh, they make sitting on regular chairs more comfortable. So yeah, I have this chair that I'm going to try sitting on. 
Uh, I got this chair because it has a mesh back and a mesh uh, seat, kind of like Herman Miller chairs. Um, and I got them because uh, that way, uh, with the mesh back and the mesh seat, um, you know, uh, I won't get uh, super hot and sweaty. And uh, it works. The, you know, the, having having mesh at the top and bottom, it, it certainly does work to prevent, um, you know, sweaty butt when you're sitting for long periods of time. But unlike Herman Miller chairs, um, or I should say specifically the Herman Miller Aeron chair, uh, this seat is not very comfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna try uh, sitting in that chair with my bicycle shorts, and we're gonna see um, if it helps. I don't know what happened, but I lost a few clips there. The clips app uh, lost my audio, so hopefully this works. All right, so it's been a few days now. As you can tell, I've got a new haircut. So I've been sitting on the uncomfortable mesh chair uh, with my bike shorts uh, over the past few days. And so here are my thoughts. I think it does help a little bit, um, but, but not enough that I can recommend it. First of all, uh, the padding on the bike shorts, they're a little bit too narrow. Uh, they kind of just pad the sort of inside of the ischial tuberosities, which would be fine for a bike seat because bike seats are generally pretty narrow. But when it comes to sitting on a, like a regular flat chair, uh, I would have preferred for the padding to be a bit wider so that there would be more coverage for the ischial tuberosities. But instead, you know, you can kind of feel the edges of the padding um, as you're sitting on it. The padding is also not very thick, so I don't know how much it actually helps. Now, all that said, I feel like sort of any uh, relief offered by the padding is kind of offset by the fact that I have to wear bike shorts. It's essentially like wearing tights, which is in and of itself not all that comfortable. So at the end of the day, uh, I can't recommend uh, sitting on uh, uncomfortable chairs uh, using uh, bike shorts. So that's more or less it for this video. I will say that I just got my purple seat cushion uh, today um, and I'm eager to try it out and I will probably let you know what that's like in another video. And for those who are interested, uh, I, have been, I have been recording this whole video using the Clips app on my iPhone XS. I don't have uh, any microphones hooked up either. It's just using the uh, microphones on the phone itself. And I'm just hand holding the phone. I'll probably make another video talking about the Clips app. Uh, I, I definitely have some opinions about it. Um, so anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.